Okay. Right now I'm at my store. I'm next to um, Silpa. I just got actually I just got back and actually I have a tiger on my, my lap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why would I have a tiger on my lap? I don't know. Because he's the best. He's the best. <laughs> anyway, this is I'm with Jesse. Say hi Hello. Jesse. Jesse was with me for two years, almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a special request from someone out there that they went they had a Jesse uh, Withdrawal? Withdrawal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back. So you're back. <laughs> Anyway, so why don't, you, why don't you share your story of what's going on, and okay. you, had, you had like big news the past couple days. I did. And you want to share it with uh, your friends? I do. So, um, my story is when I was 15, 16, 16, I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, that's diagnosed by like a blood test. Um, they saw a huge imbalance in my testosterone, estrogen, and I would have like huge really painful periods that would last like nine days or more and it would feel like someone was stabbing me like in my ovaries to the point where I had to leave school a couple times and uh, take a lot of pain medication and Did I it couldn't... also cause air, air, air to grow in your face by the way? No, no, no. Nothing severe. I, and it didn't like, there's like two types, lean and obese, P, like PCOS, I had the lean type. Um, I didn't have severe symptoms. Um, my skin was always terrible, like terrible. I went to the dermatologist, you know, got all these products. This is how it used to look. Um, my skin was actually darker in complexion. Yeah, she was dark. She was dark. And very red and bumpy and itchy. My skin mm -hmm. would itch. Mm -hmm. it, it was so strange. And um, and I, I felt terrible. I ate terribly. I ate the standard American diet. Um, wasn't vegan. I would eat. I would eat dairy, a lot of dairy, a lot of processed foods. Um, in the last few years, I basically tried to be healthier because this concept of cysts on my ovaries really kind of scared me. But at the same time, not that, so much. That, 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 child, child, look, child rearing. No. Being pregnant, right? Yeah, yeah. You can get infertile. You can get heart disease. You have a high risk for miscarriages. You, uh, people often get diabetes. Um, I was lucky. Oftentimes people become obese. I was also very lucky in that. Um, and it, it just messes everything up because it's a hormone imbalance. So everything is out of sync. It um, increases your risk for depression. It increases your risk for all these horrible things. Like uh, your hair growth is kind of off. Like, Did they give you a reason why this happens? No, they say di They say like uh, in in the medical profession that no one really knows what causes. No this. one knows. No one knows. It has no, no one cure. Knows. It has Jesse knows, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do I know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to read this? Not yet. <laughs> oh, and so basically, um. You got a I, uh, I always had it in my head that, you know, my future was so grim. I'd have, like, endometriosis or cancer. And I, I always thought about this from a young age, that I just naturally had horrible skin. And, um, and it naturally felt terrible, and that's just the way it was going to be. Oh, by the way, guys, she's available. <laughs> and so, she's looking. <laughs> now that she has good skin, and in one way she is looking. <laughs> so, so Anybody out there? <laughs> So basically, um, though I so the last few years I tried to be vegan, and I started noticing these weird things when I would eat like bread or a lot of sugar or like you know certain foods. Um, I would get purpley red spots on my face that were like flat looking, and then I would get really dizzy and nauseous, and uh, I would just crash. Like in 15 minutes, I needed to nap um, or take a cup of coffee or pop a Benadryl. Um, or else, I mean, I just needed to do that in order to function. And this started in 2010. Um, and then through every year, it would happen a couple more times. And then this year, it happened all the time. Uh, January through your March. Sis, your cysts were getting bigger? I actually know. Uh, they were, yeah, like the cysts were there. Yeah, they were getting right. bigger. That's why it caused me to kind of go like vegan. Because I would every time I'd eat junk food, I would actually feel like um, pain in my ovaries. Like, it's very strange. And actually, um, Jess just happens to have the mean of a cyst. Yeah. Cyst is actually called tumor. It's actually, in my opinion, it's called brain cancer, or called breast cancer, called prostate cancer. It's all the same theory. What, technical word is called induration. By definition, according to natural hygiene. Go ahead, Jess. Okay. So, induration. It's characterized by a hardening and filling in of empty space created by the destroyed tissue with fibrous elements known as scarring and encapsulation. Encapsulation, which means encaps encapsulate all that waste mm -hmm. to your benefit. Dead. 
Um, this process of encapsulation engulfs the toxic material. Engulfs. I mean, that's just a good thing, not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Good. It encapsulates it in a gelatinous, hardened, fibrous sac in order to isolate them from the rest of the body. Which means that's just is encapsulated all the waste, so it doesn't get in your bloodstream. You have to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody with breast cancer, thank you. Anybody with brain cancer, thank you. With the bite encapsulated, so it doesn't get in your bloodstream. Go ahead. Um, so this is commonly referred to as tumor formation. Tumor formation or cyst formation. Mm -hmm. This is the last intelligent thing the body will do in an effort to protect vital organs before the last and final stage of disease, which is what Arnold was just talking right. about. Cancer. Cancer. Good. So, You're on. Now that you have these lucky sisters around you. So I had all these lucky sisters around me, and did. they were and really were so painful, happy. and I was not happy because <laughs> I wasn't looking at it like that because I didn't know any better. I didn't. Was I was just told it was bad. And um, and so, yeah, so I became more vegan and health conscious the last few years. In college, I wasn't. I would eat junk food. I would feel, like, severe pain, like, all the time. I was put on birth control medication when I was um, 16. I'm 24 now. Um, so I was taking it for eight years. Um, and my hair started falling out this year. Again, those weird sugar, sim blood sugar, like, related symptoms would pop. It was good cause by birth control pills, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. They just kind of right. went away when I started, like, I thought it was the gluten. I thought it was, like, a bunch of food sensitivities. I had all the blood work done. I'm normal. I have normal cholesterol. I don't have diabetes. Like, I, everything is normal. And I thought I wasn't, I, I thought maybe I was crazy because no one would believe me. But then I met Arnold. Actually, I saw Megan Elizabeth's hey, YouTube Elizabeth. channel. And she right. started talking about raw foods and, and veganism, and I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, Megan. Yeah. And yeah, then, Megan. And then she mentioned, she mentioned your me. cafe oh, good. in Lansdale, which Lansdale. is where I grew up, like near where I grew up. And I thought, that was really weird. Let me check it out. So I saw, I saw Arnold um, for the first time in May, and then I was still kind of skeptical. Like, why not grains? Why not right. cooked? Why, right. why this? And then I spoke to Megan Chiro and her mom. Megan Chiro, what did she have? And she had brain cancer that <laughs> went away. And I thought, that's really interesting. How is this possible? I went for science. And then they recommended the 80-10-10 book. And which then I is, bought it. Which is what? Um, by Doug Graham. It's kind of like, explains in a lot of detail why a low-fat, raw, vegan diet works. And... It ties in a lot with what you're, what you say in your right. classes, and um, that just changed everything. So I was like slowly transitioning since then, um, and I did the 30 day. I was struggling with going 100%, and I was eating still like some fat back in September, and I was still getting the spots. So then I decided I needed Arnold's help. So I did 100% wow. like low fat raw vegan. I would eat the same thing for 30 days. Wow, she did. Last one, I got off my birth control medication. I just Stop wearing my glasses, cold turkey. Stop wearing glasses. Yeah. And so I just make sure I eat two carrots a day. Okay. And, and my hair stopped falling hair out. Stopped falling off. And uh, my skin became skin. so good. And you got lighter. Yeah, I got weirdly lighter. You watch it become white as me. In my <laughs> complexion. Um, it's just all, all these like weird things started happening. I stopped using chemicals. So now I wash my hair with like um, Indian soap berries, which are like traditionally used in India. You just, it's like, it has like a lot of saponin. And so I just, um, I just started taking care of myself, and I and I became a lot more confident. I went makeup free, product free, like you know, heat free, hair wise, and I don't know. I just feel really good. And so um, since then, uh, I kind of wanted to see where my cysts were at. So I just had a an imaging test done this morning, and uh, no cysts. Wow. And I've had no pain since September 29th. Wow. You hear that, Jesse? So um, and th and that's when I, s I started veganism and raw food. Actually, that's not true. I, right. I did 100 percent starting September 30th, and I gave a coffee. Um, right. It's it's been great. I feel like there is something to this. Right. So. And um, right now, what you gonna do is you're gonna help me post to 250,000 people, right? Okay. Good. Any yeah. else you want to say, Jesse? No. 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 <laughs> you just here looking. Betty, you want to say anything? I'm very happy. You're very happy. I'm very. You're happy. very happy. I'm very happy. Jesse, you want to say anything? Just go over there. No. Oh, I can say one thing. Good. That it's weird because now all this time I was thinking negatively a certain way about like limitations in my life and the way it was going to be, and now I have so much hope. I kind of took a leap of faith going into this. Right. I didn't really know what to expect, and now it's just I feel like there's a new boundary that 
can be now reached. It's like a door blew right open. I feel so much more positive and loving and, and excited for what's to come. A lot more good. Faith. You hear that guy? She's ready. <laughs> so I, I, de I definitely think yeah, there's yeah, something yeah. in the fruits and vegetables. Are you going to help me push out, push the, uh, the, the base of all these yeah. thousand people? Yeah. And actually, she's, she set up a program for me to reach 200,000 people at a shot it's, in 30 minutes. I mean, Arnold, what you're doing is amazing. Amazing. We're all so grateful. You we're, know, we're you're, on changing, a mission here. you're changing people's lives. Right. And it's amazing. Yay. Anyway, Jess, you want to say anything again? No. <laughs> <laughs> this looks fabulous. She's available too, guys. By the way, I am too. We're all We're single. all available. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, live from Arnold's Way. Yeah. About um, Silk Bear's story. Jess and her story. Me and her story. And we have at least four or five other people who have stories here. Two, two people, three people. Four people. That's pretty amazing. We have four people in a restaurant in 15 minutes all have a raw food story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, bye.